Hello guys, welcome to this new video. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and follow me or subscribe to my channel, CCN Daily Tips. If you like all my videos so far, if you go to the videos tab on the channel, you're gonna find that I have over over eight videos on CCNA, mostly on CCNA and also on ICND one, which is CCNT. And also, if you haven't so, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. If you have a Twitter, of course, at CCNA Daily Tips. Here it is. Here I post all my videos, stuff for my website, coupons, and a lot more stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this. Um, with this activity. And this activity, what we're going to do is configure VLANs okay so let's go ahead and read um, about the background so VLANs are helpful in the administration of logical groups allowing members of group to be easily moved changed or added this activities focuses on creating and naming VLANs and assigning access ports to a specific VLANs okay so part one you're going to view the, v the default VLAN configuration okay so display the current VLANs on S1 issue the command that displays display all VLANs configured by default or interfaces are assigned to VLAN 1. So let's go ahead and go to switch 1. And from here you can do a show VLAN. As you're going to see that we have only one VLAN, which is a default VLAN configure. Well, not configure, that's a default VLAN. So it comes pre configured. Okay, and that's the VLAN that is assigned to all the interfaces. So verify connectivity between PCs on the same network. So ping PC1, or let me see, notice that each PC can ping the other PC that shares the same network. So PC1, ping PC4, PC2, PC5, PC3. PC6. So let's go ahead and try that. So from PC1, we have to ping PC4, which has an IP address of ping 172.17.10.24. So we're able to ping from PC1, PC4. What about from PC2? Can we ping PC5? We just want to verify that. So can we ping? Can we ping PC5? Ping 172.17.20.25. Yep, we're able to ping PC5 from PC2. What about PC3 and PC6? Go ahead and ping 172.17.30.26. There it is. So that's working. Um, now what we have to do is configure VLANs. So this is part two. We're going to create an A VLANs on switch one. So we're going to create 10, 20, 30, and 99. So let's go ahead and bring switch one over here. Make this bigger. Let me make this bigger for you guys so you guys can see it. Let's bring it to 11. That should be good enough. Let's see. Let's go to. So I closed all of them. So let's open it again. Now you can see that it's bigger. So from switch one. Create and name the VLANs 10, 20, 30, 99. Let's go ahead and config T. And names are case sensitive. So VLAN 10. We're going to name it faculty slash staff VLAN 20. Oops, VLAN 20. Name it students. Right, VLAN 30, 
we're going to name it guest the default I don't know if we need to do that let's just leave it like that guess and then we run 99 we're going to name it management and native okay exit and show VLAN you can see that we have VLAN 10 20 30 99 all right, and the name is good, guess, students, faculty, slash staff, and management, and nat native VLANs. So, which command will only display the VLAN name, status, and associated ports? That will be show VLAN, as you can see right here. It is showing the, the VLAN status, active, and the ports that are associated with them. Since this one does not have any ports associated with them, it does not have any ports. Using the same commands from step one, create VLAN and name the VLANs on switch two and three. So let's do the same on switch two and three. Okay. Config T, VLAN 10. We're going to name it faculty slash staff VLAN 20 we're going to name it students name students VLAN 30 we're going to name this guest and VLAN 99 management and native Do the same on, v on switch three. Config T, VNAN 10, name faculty, slash staff, VNAN 20, name it students, VNAN 30. We're going to name that guests and VLAN 99. We're going to name it management and native. There it is. So now assign VLANs to ports. So assign VLANs to active ports on switch 2. So let's go to switch 2. Let's go to interface, server 11, switch port, um, access, VLAN 10, then to switch 18, interface 18, VLAN 20, and then to interface 6, to VLAN 30. Use the same VLAN access ports assignments as switch 2. So let's go to switch 3 and do the same. So interface, interface that's Ethernet 11, switch port access VLAN 10, and then we go to 18. 20 and then 2 VLAN 6 to interface 6 and add VLAN 30. Okay, so verify loss of connectivity previously. PCs that share the same network could ping each other successfully. Try pinging PC4 to the access ports are assigned to appropriate VLANs where the ping is successful and why. What could be done to resolve this issue? Let's see. And try to ping those interfaces. So PC1 should be able to ping PC4. 
right? And as you can see, it's not it's not able to ping it anymore. This one should be able to ping PC5. And they're not able to ping each other. And PC3 won't be able to ping PC6. There it is, it is timing out. So, so what could be done to resolve this issue? Okay, so what we need to do to resolve this issue is we need to create this trunk links. So between switch one, switch, switch two and switch one needs to be trunking and switch three and one needs to be trunking as well. So what we need to do is go to switch two which is using gigabit 01 and 01 and this one is using 02 and 02 so let's go ahead to this side and go to switch 1 and let's make it a trunk link so config t interface gigabit 01 switch board mode trunk okay and let's go to switch 2 Let's make that a trunk too. Switch board mode trunk. And also let's go back to switch one. And let's go to interface gigabit 02. Switch board mode trunk. And then let's go to switch three and make it a trunk as well. So interface gigabit 02. Switch board mode trunk. Okay, so now it is converging, so we can do fast forward the time. And now, PC1 should be able to bring PC4. And there it is. And this one should be able to ping um, PC5, which is this one right here. And then PC3 should be able to ping PC6. And there it is, I was able to ping. And we have completed this activity. Check results. It is saying that it's not done for some reason, but so the VLAN name for this one is incorrect. So for VLAN 30, we need to change that name to guest and default. That's what the error is. Since you guys remember, they did not put the um, the name of it. So if we go back over here, let's see this activity. Move it over here, make it bigger, and change the name for VLAN 30. Let's make it this name on all the switches. So switch one, VLAN 30, name, paste over here. So switch two, do the same for VLAN 30, name, paste, and switch three, VLAN 30, name, exit. Let's go to, let me see, switch one. I just exit out of here, show VLAN, or do show VLAN from here. Here we go, the name has changed. For switch two, do show VLAN. The name should have changed for all of them. Let's check results. And there it is, now it is telling me that congratulations. You successfully completed package tracer activity configuring VLANs. Activity, however, your final score may change based on your answers to the questions in the instructions. In the instructions, consult your instructor, which is me. So if you got this, um, if you got this, 
congratulations it was that you have been configured this successfully okay if you go to the assignment items if you have all check marks it is because you have completed this activity and this is all for this video and if you guys want more videos or if you if you guys like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips if you have a twitter account okay so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one